When looking for medical topics, a great place to start is a nursing and medical field guide. You can access this guide by going to your Canvas course. Each guide is connected to a course in a related field. So in a math course, it's a math guide, and a psychology course, it's a psychology guide. If you go to the guide, then click on Articles, it'll give you a basic description of our journal articles, best databases to begin, these are general interest databases, and then databases for our medical field. There are three types in this list. There are EBSCO and Gale products. These are paid for by the library and require passwords, which are listed on the page here. And the rest are open access. These are free to access and are often government entities. If we click on Credo, for example, it opens up an, an online encyclopedia. We can do a search here. It gives us potential topics we might be looking for. And then when we select a topic, it gives us a basic page on that topic and then articles related to the topic. These all have a cite button that gives you an automatic citation for your paper. You can also look at the mind map here. If we open our mind map, we can see how this topic relates to similar topics. And we can click on all of these topics in order to open them as well. If we go back to our nursing guide and we scroll down, we might also want to start with CINAHL. CINAHL is a great database for looking for medical information. We try our search here. It gives us what we might want to be look, looking for. And we want to limit down these results as well. I would definitely suggest clicking on full text. This gives you just those results that are available immediately. If you find things that you want that we don't have, just come to the library and we'll try to get it for you. For medical topics, you also want to have no more than two to three years old. Now we've greatly narrowed the number of results, but it's still too many. We want to be more specific. If we scroll down, we might want to pick geography, gender, age, and so forth, or we might want to look at the subject. If we click on any of these boxes here, it gives us topics in that range. If we don't like the one we chose, we simply click the X to remove it. And remember, the number in parentheses here is how many articles are on that particular topic. Once we've narrowed this down, and I would narrow it down further, but you can click on the, the uh, folder to save it into a folder for yourself. When you go to your folder, you have a range of options. Printing, emailing, saving it. I recommend emailing it to yourself. And you can email them up to 10 articles at a time. If you see one that you want to look at, simply click the title. Here it gives us information on the topic or the article itself. And we can click the cite button from here. We choose the citation format that a professor tells us to use. And we can simply copy and paste. If we go back to our nursing guide, we can choose other ones as well, such as the health and wellness. This is a Gale product, but we can do a similar search. And remember, these databases require exact spelling. The search limiters are on the right instead of the left, but they work the same way. If you're not finding exactly what you're looking for, another great place to go is to the college website and click on current students and then library. Here we have other resources as well, such as tools such as Noodle Tools that does citations help for you, the subject guides list, a catalog, and then databases and ebooks. From this page at the bottom, we can select Salem Press. And as you can see, we have a range of books here that are available immediately many have health topics.